this is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club and today we're doing another egg video for you guys. We're going to be opening up a total of 20 items including 15 blind boxes and 5 Play-Doh eggs. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up a blind box right here in the front row. And I want to start with a new one for the channel. This is going to be the Scribble Knots Unmasked series number four. We've done one, two, and three. This is going to be number four. And here's going to be some of the figures that you can collect. The one that I want is going to be the Catwoman right there. Let's go ahead and get this first one opened up. And it looks like we got Batman Beyond. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package and on his base. And if you notice, the Batman actually has a question mark out of 18, so it doesn't even tell you the odds for that one. In fact, a lot of them have question marks. He's got kind of like a black and white belt on him, so that's a pretty cool one. Next up, let's go ahead and open up the Sleeping Beauty Vinylmation. We got some really cool figures out of this one so far. Let's see what we get for this one. And I don't know what that one is. <laughs> that one is going to be the Maleficent Goon. So there's, there's the Goon. He's kind of drooling a little bit. I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was like a little a spot on him or if it's supposed to be like that. But I think it's actually supposed to be like that. Got a little bit of drool on him. Now, let's go ahead and open up the BFFS blind box. Now, a lot of you guys have been requesting these every week. Don't worry, we're actually going to be doing an entire video next week of the BFFs. So, you guys that have been asking for it, it is coming. And for this one, if I ever get it out of the package, we got the Marshmallow. There we go, so we got a marshmallow and a fork. And here's the card that it goes with. It's S. Morrison and Rusty Jr. on the back. It says, let's cuddle by the fire. And I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. In next week's video, I open this one and I say, this is the first one we've gotten on the channel. Well, I actually I already recorded that video yesterday, but it's gonna be uploaded next Monday. So when you guys hear that, you're gonna go, well, you got that in last week's egg video. Well, I did, but again, I had already recorded the BFFs video for you guys. So this one is gonna be Sword Art Online. And here is the character that we got. And I'll go ahead and get him on his base so we can take a better look at him. So here's our little samurai. And again, these are the bases that don't actually snap on. So there's nothing that actually holds him onto the base. He just kind of sits on there, which is a little unfortunate. I kind of wish they would have made him actually snap on there. But there's a look at the back. He's got kind of like a little sword that he's holding right there. He's ready to do some combat. Go ahead and set him down. And speaking of combat, we actually do have a Art of War Dunny Bond box for you guys. We've done a few of these so far. This is one of the sets that I really like. I really, <laughs> these are these are the blind boxes that I get pretty excited about. I really like the Dunnies. And for this one, wow, this one's got a lot of pieces to them. So here's our figure. And it says, Abel was I ear, I saw Elba. I don't really know what that means, <laughs> but I'll get him put together real quick and we'll check him out. So here's our little figure. I think that might be French. I'm not really sure, but it's like a little crate that he can carry some goods in, but he can also stand on it as well. So it's kind of like his little base. So it's kind of a neat figure. It's definitely different. It's a lot different than anything else we've gotten from the Duddies. Next, let's open up the Ghostland tin. And these are the tins. You know, I really like the tins. I like the tins more than the <laughs> figures inside of here. But for this one, we got some sort of puffball ghost. Looks kind of like a blowfish. These are kind of like, uh, I guess, alien ghosts, baby. And he almost looks like he'll open up, but I don't, yeah, he won't open, but he can turn. So you can kind of spin him around and face him in different ways. Now, if you're wondering where I got some of these blind boxes, a lot of them came from a website called blindboxes.com. Some of them I've also gotten off of eBay. Like this one came from eBay. There's certain blind boxes that are actually like really hard to find or they didn't make a lot of them. So for those, those I usually go to eBay for. But the blind box website actually has most of the more common blind boxes. And it looks like we got the little squirrel again. So this one's called Sherbid. He's a two and 20. I'll go ahead and get his ears and, or excuse me, his arms put on. <laughs> we'll see what he looks like. 
So here's our Sherman. I wanted to say ears because I was thinking of the Chaos Buddies that look kind of like this where you have to put their ears on. But here's our little squirrel. It's kind of a neat one. I, we, we have gotten that one in the past a long time ago. Now, let's go ahead and open up the Little Mermaid. And I think a lot of you guys have been rooting for me to try to get this Ariel. We still have not gotten her and we've opened a good bit of the case. So, man, if it doesn't come out of this one, we're really... <laughs> This has got to be like the longest streak. Yeah, I mean, wow. We, we, we're really, we're kind of going on a streak here with how many we could open without getting her. But this is going to be Flounder again. We'll set him down right here in the middle. Now let's go ahead and open up. This is going to be the Simpsons keychain. Here's a look at one side. Here's a look at the other. And in the video, I said I know what most of these uh, items are, and we got the bat, and I said I thought it was Nelson's bat, and one of you guys commented and said you thought it was uh, Homer's bat from where he was a baseball player, and you might be right. I might have been wrong about this. So it looks like we got Maggie's pacifier. That's kind of like the, the classic Simpsons item right there, her pacifier. I think anybody that's watched a Simpsons episode is probably going to know what that one is. We'll set that down and let's go ahead and open up a Fat Cap series number three. And I will have to tell you guys, I am just as excited about the Play-Doh eggs in this week's video as I am about the blind boxes because we have some really cool stuff in some of these Play-Doh eggs. We got some new stuff too. And sometimes it's kind of hard to find surprise packs for the uh, Play-Doh eggs, some, some good ones anyways, <laughs> but this week we definitely have some really good ones. So this one, you know, this one looks kind of like a Stormtrooper. <laughs> he does he kind of has like a star wars stormtrooper kind of look to him and he's got like a little face on the back in fact if you turn it around now he could have two faces <laughs> that's, that's kind of a fun one and he even he's got a little tongue right there too it looks kind of like a tongue i don't know that's definitely a fun little figure and let's just go ahead and open up one more blind box and then we're going to do some play-doh eggs so this is going to be another one piece blind box these are the anime style one piece blind boxes, I guess. And here's the figure that we got. Very silly looking character. So I'll get them put together real quick and we'll check them out. So here's our figure. And this is probably the coolest one piece character that I've seen come out of a blind box yet. What do you guys think that actually are familiar with this series? I'm not, I don't even know this one's name, but he does look like a really cool character. We'll set him down and let's go ahead and open up our first Play-Doh egg. Let's do the Joker egg first. Let's go ahead and get his little green hair off of here. And this is going to be a brand new surprise pack for the channel. These are similar to the Disney key rings that I've shown you guys. Here's a look at it. There's some of the different characters that you can collect. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. And for our very first one, we got Aquaman. So here's our Aquaman keychain. And again, these are exactly like the Disney packs that I've been showing you guys over the last few weeks. These are really cool keychains. So we'll set that down. Let's go ahead and open up our next Play-Doh egg. This one's like a fruity multicolored rainbow egg. And for this one, we got a My Little Pony surprise pack. And we did do a few of these in the BFFs video for next week, for those of you that like the My Little Ponies. Here is Royal Pin. He's got the little pin on his side right there. And it says, loves to make clothes for his friends. So this is a clothes making My Little Pony. We'll set that one down. Let's go ahead and open up our next Play-Doh egg. Now this one's got the little Toki Doki logo on it. And for this one, we have a Frenzies. So these are going to be the phone Frenzies. These are, uh, this is going to be a new one. I've never opened one of these. I don't know what these are exactly. I don't know if this is something that you're supposed to put on your cell phone or what. And here it is. So we, we have opened other figures that have this little piece on it. I guess that's supposed to go on the phone. You guys can tell me because I don't exactly know what it is. But this one, it looks like Hello Kitty riding a unicorno. That's pretty cool. That might be one of the coolest little frenzies that we've opened so far. That one's nice. We'll set that down. And let's go ahead and open up a blind box next. These are going to be the Dunny Martivales. This is by Kid Robot. And we got this one last week. 
And we haven't opened very many of these. We have, uh, I have a whole case of these. So we're gonna be doing more of these in the future. Unless you guys just really don't wanna see them. But for this one, just making sure there was nothing else in the box, we got this lady. So she's got the little hearts in her eyes. Here's a look at the back. It's got like the little card symbol on her. That's a neat one. Now let's go ahead and open up another dunny. This is gonna be the Sideshow series. And then right there we got the Azteca series. So we got quite a few dunnies for this video. You know, we haven't really been doing a lot of the dunnies lately. So I wanted to kind of get back to that a little bit because I really do like these and I keep doing that. There's like, there's like one tear strip that doesn't work and then the other one does. I guess that's why they put two on there for you. Wow, look at this one. So this one looks pretty cool. This one's got like a different type of paint on them. This one's like a really glossy, shiny paint. Wow, that one is nice looking and it comes with, okay, so it's called the Selfish and it actually comes with a little fishing rod. So here he is with his fishing rod and as you can see, he's kind of like got the little worm in the hook at his mouth. So it's a fish that's fishing and he's hooked himself. So that's pretty funny. I really like that Dunny. That's one of the most creative little figures that I've seen come out of a Dunny box yet. We'll set him down. That would make me laugh. Uh, the next one, this one's gonna be Azteca 2. That one's probably my favorite one that we've opened from this series so far. And it looks like you might can get a different color. This one doesn't feel heavy enough to be one of those. So I'm thinking this is just gonna be another Dunny, but let's see what we get. And for this one, we got this guy, this scary skeleton looking one. So this one is kind of like a little warrior skeleton. That's kind of like a creepy one. That one would have been good to open around Halloween. We'll set that one way back in the back. And let's go ahead and open up a more brighter, colorful one. This one is the Disney Vinylmations. This is the Nursery Rhymes. So these are gonna be some of the different figures that you can collect. Now, last week we got the three little mice, which I didn't realize it, but it's the three blind mice. So some of you guys did correct me on that. It's the little mice with the sunglasses. And this one feels pretty heavy. It feels like a bigger one. I wonder if it's Humpty Dumpty. And for this one, it's definitely not Humpty Dumpty. We got, uh, let's see, Hickory Dickory Dock. So this is the little clock. <laughs> That's kind of a cool one. It's got the little mouse running up it. That's a nice one. These are probably some of my favorite vinylmations that we've opened on the channel. I really like this theme. The theme of it, of being the little, the stories, that one's pretty cool. Now, this one's got a little basketball on it. And if you watched last week or the week before, we did open one of these with a basketball on it. And of course, we got the NBA Surprise Pack, which this one, I think, yeah, this is going to be the same one. This is, uh, we got the LeBron James last time. Here's some of the different figures that you can collect. And I wouldn't mind getting a Derrick Rose out of here. That's probably one of my favorite characters to come out of here. But it looks like we got, I think, I think that's Stephen Curry. I know it's the Warriors, but I'm thinking that's Stephen Curry. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's his no name on the back. I do know most of the popular basketball players. And I think he was the son of Dale Curry, who used to play for the Charlotte Hornets. One of my favorite players to play here. And let's go ahead and open up our final Play-Doh egg. Let's go ahead and get this Play-Doh off. Let's get the star off first. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a little star cut out right there too. And for this one, what do we got in here? This is gonna be a new one. This one is called Tiger Bunny. It's an anime surprise pack got a little anime figure in it and for this one okay so it looks like I'm wondering if the face is on the other side maybe it doesn't have a face I'm not sure but I'll get it take it out real quick and we'll find out so here's our little figure our zipper pull and this one I think is supposed to be maybe a robot I don't know he's got like these drills where his arms are supposed to be and here's a look at the back this is definitely one of the more weirder zipper pulls that I've ever seen. In fact, if you had this one on your book bag, you'd probably get a few people asking you like, what is that? <laughs> so, that's kind of a fun one, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you did, be sure to press the like button and this is probably gonna be my favorite one from today. I think that's just a really nice little dunny, especially with the, the fishing rod and the worm. That's, uh, 
that's definitely one of the more funnier ones I've seen. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club. And as always, thanks for stopping by.